Lightning, very common during the spring or the summer, not quite as much during the winter, right? Although it does happen, you've seen us get very excited about thunder snow. So let's go through how lightning can happen in the first place. And you're probably pretty used to seeing this, a big towering cumulus cloud that you'll see during the spring or the summertime, towering through the atmosphere, so easily crossing that threshold of temperature, somewhere near 14 degrees Fahrenheit, where several types of precipitation can exist. That helps to separate the charges and make lightning possible. But you don't see that huge tower during the winter. It's a very different setup, right? Instead, you've got this big expanse of clouds, that slate gray that seems to last forever. So where does the instability and that potential for lightning come from? It's all about a little pocket, this small bubble on top of the cloud where, if you're lucky, goes through that 14 degree range or so and has multiple types of precipitation. So the charges separate there and that's where the lightning originates. So as you can see, much harder already. It's a very rare thing. Number one, the lightning doesn't happen as much. And number two, the thunder from it is muffled by the snowflakes themselves. So if you're not in exactly the right place at the right time, you'll never even know it happened. We'd like to see your weather experiments and answer your questions. To do that, go to weather.com slash wizard and upload via eyewitness.